Hi, folks. Hope everybody's doing well on this Friday morning. Uh, right now, it's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, right now it's just pouring rain outside. Earlier, it was a rain-snow mix. And but right now, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not, but it's 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 hitting the windows pretty hard. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> you can go looking for the sheep in the rain, eh? <laughs> Those of you who are Benny, were Benny Hill fans, <laughs> you'll, you'll get that reference. The rest of you will be like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> oh, anyway, it is 525 in the morning. I've already been up for about an hour. Not by choice. It's just my body wakes up, won't go back to sleep. So I just get up and make coffee, which I probably need another mug. But... Before I did that, um, I wanted to make this video. First of all, let me say, I want to clear up any any misconceptions that people might have. Because I think, and I even did a post this morning trying to explain things. Yesterday I did a post about, you know, not making any Kylie videos right now until new information comes out. I'm sorry, but I just get really tired of seeing... People still holding lives and going over the same stuff over and over and over and over and over. We've already covered everything from every freaking angle that we can. So anyway, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to get in on that. You know what? We've already covered everything that I know, you know, so it's like, I just don't see the point in making or having lives or whatever going over the same exact stuff. You know, if, if I get new information and I have something else to put out, I will. In the meantime, I'd rather do other things. You know, it doesn't mean I'm forgetting Kylie. I'm not. Still working with other creators behind the scenes. I'm working with my old boss behind the scenes, trying to get a full-blown investigation done on these jerks. I want to see a bunch of people go to jail. Oh, also, too, speaking of that, uh, I asked somebody, or I asked somebody, somebody asked me, <laughs> let's turn it around. It's like Stephen Wright. He goes, yeah, the, I don't know if you know who Stephen Wright is, but he's kind of like a really dry comedian. And it's one time he's like, yeah, the other day I, no, wait, that wasn't me. The guy, the guy comes up with the craziest stuff. Uh, my favorite one of his, though, he goes, I have a house made out of balsa wood. I go outside, lift the house over my head, tell the kids, stay out of my yard. Have <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen him? He's, he's got a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Have you ever have, have never seen Stephen Wright? He's just like, he's like so dry, but... But he just he just absolutely cracks me up. He kind of reminds me he's kind of like a comedian version of the Far Side. <laughs> Do you remember the Far Side cartoons? Oh my God, those things were so funny. That guy come up with so many just crazy, crazy things. My favorite, my favorite. It shows these caveman standing there, and they've got like clubs and weapons and stuff like that. And they're they're on the other side are these Neanderthals, right? And the cavemen on this side they're going Neanderthals, Neanderthals can't make fire, can't make spear, nya nya nya. <laughs> that might not be funny to you, but when I saw that cartoon, that just totally cracked me up because I can just see this group of cavemen over here going nya 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 nya, you know, because their technology is so far advanced over the other group. Anyway. So now that I've got that out of the way, today what I want to do is I want to tell you a story. All right? Today in... Today in... Today instead of uh, doing a tip of the day, here's my tip of the day. Don't get up at 4.30 in the morning and only have one mug of coffee and then try to do a video. That's that's my, t <laughs> that's my tip of the day. Um, 
What I wanted to do today is tell you a funny story because I have a lot of funny stories from when I was a cop. Uh, this one is when I made a letter cup pee his pants. <laughs> Still cracks me up to think about it. Oh, all right. First of all, I worked in a town. I was a city officer. And we had a college. And the college had campus police. Now, the campus police were actually sworn city officers, but they only had jurisdiction on the campus. They didn't have jurisdiction in the rest of the city unless we called them for, for backup. All right. So, and then their department, their their chief, who was like, a, dude was weird, man. He was strange. Um, he used to work for California Highway Patrol. All right, so <laughs> campus police had the chips uniforms, right? That light tan, with the I mean, and they were they were exactly like California Highway Patrols, except the patches, you know, said campus police instead of you know Cal CHP or whatever. So that's what that's what they had. They had these they had these light tan uniforms, right? Well, anyway, we had this one shift that was called eight to four foot patrol. Eight eight p.m. to four a.m. That was my favorite shift because I could still get home rather than working you know graveyard where a lot of times when you get home it's already light outside. Working eight to four, I could. You know, get off at 4 o'clock, go home, and get to sleep while it was still dark, which I loved because at that time I had a really, really hard time sleeping if there was any light coming in the windows at all. In fact, people probably thought I was crazy because I used to put tin foil, <laughs> aluminum foil, or aluminum foil on the windows and duct tape it to block out the light. You know, so they probably thought, this guy's crazy, man. He's got tinfoil all over his windows. What's he doing, expecting aliens, you know? And E.T. did show up a couple times and wanted to phone home, but I said, get out of here, man. Get out of town, man. Um, so, anyway, we had this 8-4 to four foot patrol, and I, and I was riding with my best friend on the force, Randy. And he and I used to go out do stuff together and get drunk and crazy stuff. Um, I don't think I told the story about where he was wearing the gorilla mask. That was the same guy. So anyway, I was riding with him and we got a call that there was somebody inside this church. And this was like a huge, huge freaking building. Just absolutely huge. So we go there and... I don't remember how we, we got the keys or whatever, but we got it, went in there, searched it. There were so many nook and crannies. I saw I wished we'd had a dog because that was the only way we were going to find anybody in there. Because they had like, there was like, you're going along, there's like this big hole in the wall. You look in there and it's got like this, almost like a cavern. It's almost like going in a cave. Ain't no way I'm going in there. Spiders. <laughs> I don't like spiders. I don't like spiders and snakes, and if that ain't what it takes to love me. Remember that song? Some of you old codgers like me, you remember that song. I don't like spiders and snakes, and if that ain't what it takes to love me. When I want to be loved by you. Yeah, that was a good song. Like, there was a lot of good songs that came out, you know, during that time. That one and... Dead skunk in the middle of the road, dead skunk in the middle of the road, dead skunk in the middle of the road, and stinking the high heaven. All right, remember that one? Oh, yeah, then there was the other one. Signs, signs everywhere, my sign, blocking out the scenery, breaking my mind. Do this, don't do that, can you read the sign? Yeah, that one then. What was the other one that came out about saying video kill the radio store? Video kill the radio store. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of weird ones that came out during that time, but they were oh yeah, then don't forget the caveman song. Uh, you remember the caveman song? Gotta find a woman, gotta find a woman, gotta find a woman. <laughs> there was a lady named Bertha. Bertha Butt. 
<laughs> then there was a sequel that they made off of that called The Birth of But. When Birth of Bud did the boogie, they called it The Birth of Bud Boogie. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is why you don't get up and make a video on just one mug of coffee and you're, and you're still half awake. Anyway, so we were, <laughs> and now back to our regularly scheduled programming. So we were searching this building, right? We searched the thing and we went all over the place. We didn't find anybody. So we went back out, locked everything up and was like, you know. So we kind of sat out there for a little bit to see if we could see any shadows go by a window or, or, you know, something like that. So anyway, we're sitting there talking and we got this bright idea. <laughs> I don't remember even who came up with it, but there was a, a guy working for campus police named Reggie and uh, he was a great big old guy and he was working that night. So we come up with this idea. I said, all right, four o'clock. Take me back to the police department. I'll go in the locker room, change into my, I think I was just wearing like a white t-shirt and Levi's. And I'll change, into, I'll change into my clothes. Well, right at the back door of this church, there was this, the copters catching flights. Get him. Get that bug. Get it. Oh, get it. Get that bug. Oh, he's got that. He's, got, he's zeroed in on that fly. <laughs> Uh, so there was the back door to this, this huge bush. It's like this huge evergreen bush. Really, really big. And there was a lot of space behind it. So our, our idea was he was going to drop me off there. I was gonna, And I was going to take one of the police radios so I could hear what was going on. And I was going to hide behind the bush. And we were gonna, he was going to get on the radio, tell Reggie, I think I saw somebody inside the building. Come back me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and then I was gonna, you know, jump out from behind the bush and scare the crap out of him. Right. Yeah. So, so anyway, four o'clock comes. He takes me back. I go in, and change my clothes, come back out, get back in the patrol car, and he drops me off at this church, and I go and I, you know, crouch down behind this big old bush, right. So he goes out there, he gets on the radio, and of course I can, I've got the walkie, you know, I've got the portable, so I've got, I can listen to what's going on. He calls Reggie, he says, I think there might be somebody inside the building, building again, come back me up, all right? So he's parked out there, and Reggie comes pulling up behind him, and they get out, and <laughs> he come walking, he goes, yeah, I saw it, like, looked like it went by this window right here, you know, right by the back door there, all right? And there was some steps. There was some steps leading up to the leading up to the door. And Randy walks up the steps, and he's kind of like pointing. He says, "Yeah, I thought I saw a shadow go right by here." Of course, Reggie's standing. Reggie's standing right in front of the bush. And all I did was stand up. <laughs> I just stood up because I had my white T-shirt on, you know, and stuff. There was a there was a back, you know, outside light, you know, to the at the door, so he could see me really well. But, but he couldn't see me perfectly enough to, to be able to see my face and all that. And I think I had a hat on of some kind of ball cap or something. So I s slowly stood up, right? And you ever seen those cartoons or those shows where they exaggerate how scared somebody is? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, copper, I'm doing that. <laughs> He's looking at me like, dude, you're crazy. Um, so I just stand up and Reggie sees me and he literally does that. He's pointing at me. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. There it's in the camera. He's pointing at me. He's going. Cars. <laughs> I still think back then it still just cracks me up, man. I can't help it. So Randy and I are both just splitting a gut, laughing. You know, we're just like cracking up. Randy's like, it's Kevin, it's Kevin. <laughs> and we look. Oh, let me tell you something, people. 
A light tan uniform is not what you want to be wearing if you pee your pants. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, he just like peed all over himself. This whole sight. His pants were just totally soaked. He just peed all over himself. And he's standing there and he's like, oh man, he's looking down. He's like, oh, how am I going to, I got to go home and ch change my uniform. How am I going to explain this to my wife? <laughs> oh man. Of course, we're just like dying. You know, we are just like dying. Just absolutely cracking up. You know, poor, poor Reggie. He's standing there. <laughs> oh, he's like, I don't know. How I got to, I'm going to try to sneak in, change my clothes and sneak back out. I don't want my wife to see that I peed my pants. <laughs> oh, man. That has got to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I mean, but and, and like I say, literally, he's literally like, <laughs> Oh, oh, you know, that cracked us up. That was so damn funny. That was hilarious. Of course, you know, I felt, I felt sorry for him, you know, I mean, I did, but at the same time, it was so damn funny. You couldn't, you know, you, you, you couldn't help but laugh, you know, so he had to go home and luckily he was able to sneak in, change his pants and sneak back out without his wife seeing him. But his wife found the pants the next morning and he's like, why are your pants all wet? <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, we used to do some fun stuff. <laughs> but that's just that's just one story. But anyway, that's all I got for you this morning. I already you know, said what I needed to say about what I'm doing in the first part of the video. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I, i'll get my mouse to work here there we go all right so have a good friday have a good weekend although i'll probably make a video tomorrow I'll probably do a tip of the day tomorrow so see you later Two.